So hello everyone, we are back here with another talk and uh, this time Marina is going to talk about Agile at sales and that's something which always was fascinating because every other company where I was working at they've been telling me like no 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 that will never work the sales needs to have individual KPIs and there is no way Agile would ever work in there so I'm super excited to have Marina here in Germany. Hello Aaron. Hello, everyone. Um, I hope everyone, you, you have a wonderful day. You have a lot of interesting Agile information. And today I'm going to tell you about Agile in sales and share some experience. And we have um, some troubles with my presentation. That's why each time I will invite uh, Zuzi to help me with the next slide. That's why. Uh, <laughs> It's um, okay. Anyway, uh, next slide, please. And yeah, and we'll see how it works. Yeah. Couple words about me. My name is Marina Alex. Uh, I'm from sales world. More than 10 years, I worked as a sales person. Uh, the last position was a head of sales department in Big Bang. And I love sales. And um, last six years, I helped different companies around the world with the agile in sales. And because about six years ago, I think, I was invited in one Agile software company and they introduced me with Agile. And I realized that sales should know about that because it's the best thing which could, uh, which could happen with sales. And um, it was my journey and it's still continue this journey. And I created a sales with Agile system, which helps uh, different companies around the world to change mindset uh, of their sales department. And today, through, uh, through one story, through a case study, I will tell you how it's going. And a um, couple words about me. Um, you know, in this slide, you see many numbers because salespeople, they love numbers. They measure everything by numbers. And I am, as an agile expert, I measure success of agile transformation by numbers. I always see how our company grow, how we increase our sales and whole organization. And this is the best feedback that Agile transformation is going well. This is um, how, uh, how I measure success of Agile transma transformation. And more than 10 years, I'm a mother of wonderful son. He based in uh, uh, Russia today. I based in, uh, not, I based in uh, the United States right now. And tomorrow I'm going to go to Russia. And next slide, please. And it's uh, <laughs> it take time, right, to switch uh, next slide. Yeah. And the first question which I would like to ask you in, and please write your answer in chat. What you don't like in your sales department, or maybe what do you maybe hate in your sales department? Please share your experience. Or maybe you fall in love with your sales department and your sales department is the best department in whole organization. Could you share your experience? And maybe through this presentation, um, I will share some secrets how to improve your sales. Let's see. And Zuzi, could I see answers or not? It's just interesting. Uh, you can in a, in a chat window if you switch to the event top. So there are several tabs. You might be in the backstage. Yeah, I see. And there is a few yeah, I see. minutes delay. Mm -hmm. delay. That's okay. currently I don't see any. Yeah. Answer. Yeah, and the, the yeah. last yeah, and the last uh, question from you, right? It's uh, you can ask questions in the chat. This is the last one, right? Yeah, okay. this is the last one which I sent a few seconds ago. So yeah, yes, they didn't answer yet. Yeah. Okay, what about you, Zuzi? Um, what, what could you share some of your experience? What did you maybe you didn't like something in, in sales departments or it was perfect all the time? <laughs> um, what I didn't like was yeah. actually when they've been uh, working to, uh, sorry, eh, that's me clicking on the wrong side. Uh, they haven't been really working as a team. They've been working as individual, only caring on their individual KPIs. And uh, we found it difficult. Yeah. And the other yeah. organization, I think the most difficult thing I was dealing with was actually 
when uh, they start selling as a big chunks and we're unable to kind of be flexible with the function. Yeah. Now. And um, we already have a few answers, yeah. right? Yeah. So they do not share information with R and D only number yeah. sounds, which is my experience as well. Sales yeah. do not understand the nuances of delivery. Old guard, they mostly work with Excel at most. Terms yeah. Known. And it's only sales numbers sales. count. Yeah. 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 This counts. Yeah. 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 It's interesting. Collaboration with another part of company. Yeah, for sure. Especially with marketing, you know? <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. They sell something that doesn't exist or can't exist for sure, because the main idea of sales department to sell, right? Yeah, thank you very much. So, yeah, yeah. The, um, the same, you know, the same um, problems uh, in in different countries, in different areas. And for example, I have experience supply agile, hospitality, healthcare, uh, brokers. Now I uh, help uh, in the United States, I'm helping with agile in TV companies, big TV company. And in each area, in each uh, cultures, we have the same uh, issues, right? And now I'm going to show you a video which illustrated real sales department. And this video was uh, created like 20 years ago, but I travel around the world and I see the same situation. And after this video, I will ask you a second question. Did you uh, recognize your sales or not? Please, Zuzi, show us video. I'm going anyway. Let's talk about something important. Put that coffee down. Coffee's for closers only. You think I'm with you? I am not with you. I'm here from downtown. I'm here from Mitch and Murray. And I'm here on a mission of mercy. Your name's Levine. Yeah. You call yourself a salesman? Because the good news is you're fired. The bad news is you've got all you've got just one week to regain your job, starting with tonight. Starting with tonight's sit. Oh. Have I got your attention now? Okay. Do you, do you recognize your sales department? Or maybe no. And please uh, type in chat. I see your answers. And this is classic sales department. And I believe, please, next slide. I believe that uh, we should change them. And I will explain why uh, I think so. This is business agility domain. I'm not, I'm sure that you know that. It's great approach. You could find information if you didn't um, read it yet. You could find free information uh, Business Agility Institute website. But the main idea that if we start uh, agile transformation in whole organization, the main idea to change type of leadership for sure, process, structure, everything. But we do everything to make our customers happy and in this picture you see that in the middle of all domains we see customers and to be successful in our changing world we need to be focused on value for our customers and today i attended uh, several topics in uh, our uh, conference and almost all speakers they pay attention value for customers and it's important and the next slide and it's interesting how we could uh, change whole organization and how we could do it quickly and i'm sure that uh, and my experience says that we should start from sales because sales department it's the closest department to our customers this is one thing and the second thing that their sales if we sell them idea about agile transformation they will help to sell this idea in whole organization because sales department sales they communicate with financial uh, with it with marketing with all departments around organization right that's why my my secret uh, to sell this idea to sales and then they sell this idea to a uh, whole organization 
but the main idea to change their mindset and help them to be closer to customers because not even closer they are close with our customers but to create value for our customers not just sell uh, take money and forget and the next slide uh, we have a question that yeah it's interesting to <laughs> yeah how how we could change our sales because as this is says that in classic sales department we have individual kpis we have individual goals and this is like uh, single wolves it's people who think about money only about themselves and about their own success but our goal to help them to be agile to be as a team like in a picture on the right it's a team from zappa's company we need to create a different mindset we should um, um, change their approach how to sell and next slide uh, and through this presentation i'm going to share action plan how i do it uh, for the case study the first step it's explain uh, sales and executives that agile it's mindset it's not for it only and when i travel and when i work with different companies and i see from software department for example or from executives like marina agile it's just for it i'm not sure that it's true anymore agile it's mindset and i believe that in for example we have organization 5000 people and I believe in truly agile organization, we need uh, to have this value in a security guide who opened the door and business owner who created this company and 5,000 uh, five, uh, 5, employees as well. This is mindset of whole organization. We could use different approaches. We could use different frameworks, systems, but the main idea that whole company focused for value for customers work as a one unit, as a one team, not like several uh, different departments who sometimes have huge lack, lack, lack of communication and next slide uh, that we should help whole organization think uh, in the same uh, to be in the same page and next slide i will just uh, be ready uh, next uh, 40 minutes I will tell you about next slide like 20 times more okay and through this case, case study I'm going to tell you how we're doing this is real story and uh, this is story about how agile helped company increase their sales for one year from 43 percent to 127 percent this story how agile in sales helped to apply more than 1,500 innovations or uh, improvement in organization. And, and for sure, this story about how Agile helps to, be, to have company competitive advantage. Next slide. And this story uh, became, uh, this story about company, uh, about uh, 1,300 people inside, more than 20 years in the market, and this company produced and sell um, ceramic uh, ceramic tiles for b2b sector this is a big organization next slide but before agile transformation they had a lot of troubles and uh, I, I, I here i would love to share my experience company invite me as an agile uh, expert in sales in two two reasons the first one they had trouble with sales and they want to be survive because um, they don't know what should they change. That's why they start uh, apply something new in sales. In other situation, when company invite me, they realized that they need to involve their other department. They have great experience in agile in IT and they want to scale this success around whole organization. And in this case, it was situation when business owner had troubles with business. He realized that he's going almost to lose this company because uh, he, he never seen such results uh, during 20 years because all sales in whole organization uh, were less than 33% of uh, their sales targets. They did not, uh, and sales department did not collaborate with the other department. And today when I asked you what you really don't like 
in your uh, depart uh, sales department, many of you answer that they don't communicate with other department, departments. Sometimes they think that sales is the, mo the most important uh, department and other uh, department is something like, you know, nothing. Sometimes it's happened. In, in this organization, we had the same. And it was classic sales department, which you which you seen in, in the video. Next slide. And one day, business owner of this organization uh, it found book, uh, the Jeff Sutherland book. It's an amazing book. I really love this book. And he decided to try apply Scrum in sales. And he trusted, uh, and he really believed that it will help him increase sales. And he found me as an expert in sales, and he asked me to apply uh, Scrum in their sales. Next slide. And we applied Sway. Uh, this is this system I created two years ago, and this system uh, based by my experience, and um, it's their um, I adapt Scrum for sales, and we applied Sway. And in this slide, you see Sway guide on the left side. But the most important, uh, and this is the most. I think biggest difference between classic sales and agile sales, this is um, Canvas. This is our uh, sales backlog. And we, in classic sales, people, as you said before, they focused only for numbers. In agile sales, we focus in value proposition. We focused for pains and gains of our customers. We focused what kind of value we could uh, uh, um, uh, deliver to our customers. In agile sales, we think about innovations every time. We, we think about what we learn from our experience. We have thousands, uh, I don't know, hundreds different hypotheses every uh, month and we check what works, what doesn't work. And this is about new mindset. And um, here we think about how we should improve our team. And we create cross-functional teams and we invite marketing in our teams and we um, create um, uh, units which could, uh, um, uh, could um, develop themselves by themselves and apply many new ideas in whole organization. But all ideas, they based by our customer needs this is the main difference because because in classic sales all sales they think just about money and about their kpis okay come back to the story next slide we applied sway the main difference between sway and scrum that in sales we don't have a product uh, we have a business targets we have numbers we have um customer experience which we should uh, explore we should learn uh, we should know about our customers everything we should uh, understand what they really need and we should give them that faster than our competitors and next slide and we uh, we um, applied one week sprints we had planning session on monday every day we had daily uh, 15 minutes we had demo and we show results for whole organization. And we had daily, uh, sorry, retrospective every week where our team created uh, what they're going to improve next week. We had roles. We did, uh, instead of manage, uh, managers, we had business owner who helped us with vision and prioritization. We had a coach inside who helped us to facilitate all meetings who inspire us for triple our sales and we had clear goals numbers because all salespeople still uh, love numbers this is our nature but as you see in this slide value for customers this is uh, was our goal and we apply next slide and we apply agile in our sales and here a question what do you think happened after uh, we apply agile pre-story uh, the sales were, were 33 percent we found the worst sales department to try a new approach in sales uh, in this uh, sales department this is my second secret uh, in agile transformation um, change sales it is huge risk for organization because it's uh, it's profit 
That's why I don't like revolution. I love evolution. That's why I always say that, guys, we don't need to apply Agile in all 25 departments, uh, sales departments. We need to find their worst department. We need to uh, try new approach. And then when we grow, we could scale this success. We don't need to scale Sway or Scrum or Kanban around the organization. We need to scale this success, but we need to achieve this success. That's why the first step was to choose pilot team. And then we applied Agile. And I have a question for our chat. What do you think? What happened? when we applied Agile. Did we grow or not? It's, this is uh, some puzzle for you. Okay, what, what, do, you, what do you think happened when uh, we applied Agile in our sales organization, or in our sales department? Yes. Redex say yes, Rob, Roberto was, uh, said, said yes. And honestly, I was thinking the same, but next slide. No, no, we did not. And I will tell you now I applied uh, Agile in sales more than um, 200 uh, different teams and this everywhere the same scenario. In the beginning, we always have a um, we always have situation when our sales even uh, go down not very much but a little but imagine business owner who found me as an agile expert invited me to help him with sales he had 43 percent but we uh, went down like and uh, the situation with sales was worse and next slide i will explain why because sales people they think differently they uh, they sometimes they think that agile it's like magic uh, ma magic pill or magic tool which will uh, help to sell by the, by itself agile will help to sell by itself and they think that they don't need to change themselves and each sales team th think that okay we will uh, use sticky notes from monday we will use kanban board and everything will be fine and our sales will grow no they need to change their mindset that's why during these first three weeks or even three months not usually three weeks i think the most difficult uh they need to change their mindset approach to start communicate with each other that's why just be re be ready please for um uh, going down sales starts and next slide okay when we understand that all changes start from ourselves, we need to change our uh, way how we communicate. We need to uh, change how we uh, communicate with our customers because I am, as a salesperson, I believe that we don't need to sell anymore. We need to understand needs and give uh, and be able as an organization to give everything what our customers need faster than our competitive. But as a sales approach, it's a different approach. And next slide, we had different troubles. And uh, in through this story, I will uh, say that we have those troubles almost every time. The first one, salespeople, uh, they don't know how to work in a team, as a team. For them, it's uh, something new. They need to collaborate with each other. They need to share some secret with each other. That's why they don't know how to work as a team. The second challenge, this is a situation around money and all managers, all executives, they always afraid to lose this money and they, they don't have enough trust to help, which help uh, our sales team be creative or, and try new techniques or new approaches. That's why all the time executives, they try to control our self-organizing team from the beginning. And um, we, uh, sometimes we had trouble. And in this uh, company, we had troubles the same. The second thing, and I think it's um, most difficult, it's change mindset of salespeople and uh, instead of sell something and push client, um, help ask questions from one to 10, how you're happy to use our product or what we should improve in our product to make you happy and something like this. This is new uh, way of communication with our customers. 
And still, uh, sales, they think about money, but in agile, say, in agile way, they should think about value for customers. And we believe that feedback from our customers, it's money. If our sales grow, it means that we, gr we have a great service, we have a great product, and we realized what our customers need. That's why our customers, they became our fans, they love us, and they buy our product. And the second trouble, and the one more trouble, uh, which I always see, it's very bad communication between sales and marketing, between sales and IT. And this is everything what we really need to improve when we start Agile Transformation Sales. And in this organization, we had everything, like uh, all problems we had, uh, which I uh, mentioned right now. And next slide, what we did, we created a common goal. Um, I believe that to help people to be as a team, we need to create a common goal for them. Uh, and in this case, we change KPIs. We create a, a team, um, a team bonus system, which help them to receive money when they achieve their goal. We are, I'm, for sure, we don't change their um, motivation from the beginning, but um, after several months, after six months, after 12 months, we always change motivation because individual KPIs, uh, I'm not sure, sure that uh, they will help to be a team. That's why we change uh, motivation and we create a common goal which our teams uh, um, um, have passion to um, achieve. And next slide. And what do you think, uh, what happened after uh, everything when we apply a new approach, when we change uh, goals, when our sales realize that they need to change themselves? What do you think, it's a question for you, what do you think uh, about our sales targets? Did we uh, grow or we still go down? What do you think about that? Some, some question for you. And it's about six months. I would What's assume that? they go up with yeah. one goal. But exactly. let's see what the others say, right? Yeah, yeah. let's, let's see what uh, our chat will write and uh, see, yeah. yeah, grow. And next slide, please. Next and next. Yeah, sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Start growing when people start change their mindset. And I, or you, you see my passion uh, and I'm salesperson and I exactly know that we need to change our mindset. And this is different thing, agile and sway system. Sway system is just tool. Mindset is agile, it's way how we are thinking, how we are communicate with our customers, how we, uh, how we learn every day, how we can uh, apply continuous improvement. Yes, during one year, next, next slide please, during one year we increased our sales and from 33% we achieved 127% and we start uh, uh, scale our sales teams around the whole organization and after that we started um, share, um, we started a scale and create new teams. And I believe that this is my next secret for you, how I do agile transformation. When we achieve our personal success in this organization, not in Zappos, not in Facebook, we, when we create our success story, it's easy to sell agile uh, idea about agile transformation in whole organization in executive level, because we have our personal story. And in this story, it's, it was, next slide, please. It was the same people. It was the same budget. We didn't have uh, any budget. Uh, like we didn't apply uh, a lot of money in this situation. It was the same company, but they triple their sales. And it was one story, right? But I have many stories like this. When people have common uh, goal, when they apply um, uh, planning session, everyday daily visualization, and the most important uh, retrospective, and they grow and they have a common goal and they grow. And after that, when we have a real case, uh, success case study in our company, after that, we could uh, scale it and change mindset of our executives. And next slide. Uh, 
they think differently. It was the same people, but they di think differently. That's why I believe that the main key, uh, how people thinking. And next slide. And one more important thing. Uh, in, in, when we apply Sway in sales, we have every week retrospective. And in each retrospective, our teams, they create ideas what they are going to improve next spring, next week. That's why each team apply more than 300 uh, uh, ideas, it's innovations, it's uh, improvement through process of organization. Imagine if you have 20 teams. In our case, we had five teams. That's why in, uh, in this story, uh, five different sales teams, they applied 1,500 ideas in whole organization and all changes they were uh, from the uh, from down to up not from executives to uh, to our employees all changes was from our sales and they have passion uh, and they apply all uh, those ideas in our um, organization that's why i believe that um, when we have retrospective when we have a culture of continuous improvement when we each week thinking what we should what we're going to improve in our uh, team i believe that uh, our company grow and uh, became better and better every day and next slide mm -hmm. and um this uh, when we apply agile in the sales, it's not only about increased sales. Yes, yeah, for sure, we, we measure agile transformation, as I said before, by numbers. For sure, all uh, our changes uh, help us to grow and earn more. And uh, it's, uh, this system makes business better as a whole organization. And our customers, ne next slide, and now, and our customers, they feel that because all organization started to create uh, value for our customers and our customers feel and they have this satisfaction about our product and they continue to buy more and to buy more and i believe that next slide and i believe that uh you know in our world in our crazy world it's easy to cop to copy idea. It's easy to uh, to uh, copy your product, but it's very difficult to copy your culture of your organization. It's difficult to copy how your call center answer for questions of uh, your customers. That's why I believe that uh, when we have focus for our customers, when our salespeople really think every day what what we should improve and how we could make more happy our customers i think that this is great competitive advantage which really difficult to copy and next slide please mm -hmm. in this slide you, you could uh, take a picture of this slide uh, here i collect all uh, ideas from my presentation but i would like to have some summary um, how we apply agile in sales. First of all, I believe that uh, we should involve our sales in agile transformation from the beginning because they are closest to our customers. The second thing, I believe that we should involve marketing and sales and help them to have collaboration. That's why each month, minimum one time per month, we have common retrospective with sales and marketing. When we change structure of organization, we create cross-functional teams. But in the beginning, not all organizations are ready to create cross-functional teams. That's why we apply Agile in uh, Sway, exactly Sway as a tool in sales. We apply Sway in the marketing and they have collaboration in common demo or retrospectives. And we help them to be like a one family, like a one unit. The, sec uh, the next, uh, uh, my, uh, my secret, from the beginning, I involve uh, executives and I believe that um, 
we, they all changes start from within. All changes start from top managers. That's why we involve them from the beginning. And uh, the, uh, after six months from uh, applying Agile in uh, our teams, we apply Sway in executive level. We create cross-functional teams in uh, vice president's level. They have a one-week experience. They have uh, Asana and they have a Kanban board and retrospectives. And it helped us to have a uh, faster uh, agile transformation because we have uh, um, sales, we have executives, and uh, in this case, we see how it works and we measure it by numbers. This is um, my story and, and I hope uh, it was um, uh, useful for you. And I believe that agile is the best thing which could happen with our sales. Yeah, and we are ready for any questions. Right, and you could take this picture and yeah, and send your sales department say, say we will send it to you. Okay, and we already have a few questions here for you. So uh, the first one from Roberto is: Are there any significant differences in the way you apply Agile in B two B? businesses compared to B2C businesses, at least at the beginning of the journey? <clears throat> um, it, um, it, um, it's, it, it's a very good question. For example, now I work in uh, B2C sector. We have more than 700,000 clients and we apply Sway as well. Or we, have B in, uh, we, or we apply Sway in B2C or B2B, sorry. And we, uh, the main difference, uh, it's task in their Kanban boards. Uh, it's uh, only one difference, but they, uh, in both cases, they uh, use one week sprint. I believe that uh, it's better than two week sprint because you have more retrospectives for months. You have four uh, retrospectives instead two, right? That's why just um, some, uh, some uh, difference in Kanban board, how they create tasks, nothing more. Mm -hmm. What was the most difficult once you've been introducing Agile to sales? Like what was the biggest obstacle, oh, I think? Um, I, I had a lot of them. I would love to share all of them. Uh, first of all, this question about money. That's why executives, they really afraid changes in this area and they really need to, to support uh, because they try to control, command and, and control, right? And mm -hmm. we need to help them to be certain leaders we need to help them change their mindset as well and help to sovereign their employees. And the main idea that our uh, customers want something, our sales understand what they need, our sales uh, communicate with executives and uh, 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 explain what we need to improve in our company and our executives help them to improve it. And uh, it's not command and control, it's about to be sovereign leader. And this is uh, the biggest challenge, I think, because when I work with executives, this is uh, honestly, I work with executives uh, more like 80% of my working time. I work with executives because without their support, it doesn't work. And for them, it's difficult to change their mindset. And sometimes it's took around what, minimum one year to work with the executives team and help them to be as a one unit to, sh to think uh, in agile way to be ready to have mistakes because in executive level, they don't uh, want to show that they have mistakes. And, and this is the first thing I would say, executives doesn't want to change themselves. The second thing is salespeople who last 100 years had personal uh, KPIs and now we are going to change it. And it's like, you know, it's we use metaphor, it's like a dog, um hungry dog and you decide to take away a piece of uh i don't know uh, food like beef right mm -hmm. what will be this dog will um how to say yeah bite bite you yeah that's why in the beginning they all try to stop agile transformation and they always say marina agile it's just for it it doesn't work in our area for example mm -hmm. uh, tv or healthcare no, it works everywhere because it's mindset. We need just adapt um, sway for your system. 
but it's yeah this is second thing that they don't want to change motivation and this is for me it's easy because uh, i i wasn't as a salesperson many years i know uh, how they feel about that and um yeah i think I think this is the most uh, difficult uh, mm -hmm. parts of the journey. Then there are like two main questions, comments around the cross, te uh, cross teams and cross departments collaboration. So do you have any like hints about that? Uh, let's I share a story just for, like <laughs> from next door, right? Uh, now I'm in Knoxville and I'm helping JTV company with agile transformation. And uh, this company, uh, the main product of them, it's um, TV shopping. Mm -hmm. Through TV shows, or a broadcast, they sell uh, jewelry. And uh, they, have, they still has, um, they have a classic structure. They have planning department, they have uh, producers department, they have marketing department, sales department, host departments, and uh, different departments. We applied, uh, sway in four teams. The first team, uh, it's board. The second team, it's um, uh, sales uh, cross-functional team. We create new structure inside of the company, new unit. We put in this uh, team one uh, one uh, producer, one planning, one sales, one um, host, and uh, one buyer. And for them, it was something new because they still report to uh, buyer uh, direct uh, direct uh, in, uh, buyers uh, mm -hmm. uh, department right but we have this and and we increase we increase our sales and this is cross functional teams we try to understand how to change whole organization but we're not ready to change whole organization that's why we try to apply in like pilot teams and it's experiments agile mm -hmm. it's always experiments what we're going to learn by our experiments but we after five weeks we increase our sales and um, around 20 percent in in several areas but it's just beginning of our journey so on my first look it looks like that your sway methodology or framework how you want to call it is like similar to scrum or it looks close so what I do I yeah I took a lot of from Scrum and I believe that Scrum is the, I don't know, it's, I, I really love Scrum very much because it's very clear framework, right? But it didn't work as well as in IT because in sales, we don't have a product. We don't have increment, we don't have backlog. Mm -hmm. And uh, the main idea that in IT, you don't see uh, your product. You create by user story and you, piece by piece, you create your product. Mm -hmm. in sales we exactly know our business goal mm -hmm. this is our mm -hmm. goal we have vision but we need to achieve this vision by learning by new hypotheses by ex mm -hmm. explore our customers that's why we have different we have all meetings from um uh, scrum mm -hmm. uh, we have different uh, re um demo only because uh, it's a different uh, mm -hmm. idea of uh, demo but and we have different um we have canvas as a vision which i showed you before instead of backlog of product mm -hmm. interesting and what is the one thing which kind of uh, brings you back to sales so everybody has some sort of a passion so why sales how did you get into sales when you first started working there ah oh, <laughs> honestly um uh, when um, I uh, decided to work in sales, my father was very upset. I was 19 because, you know, people think that people uh, go to sales because they don't know how to do other th things. I, I'm sure uh, now it's okay, but uh, many, many years ago. <laughs> uh, was not, oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It was just, uh, it was something bad. And my parents, mm -hmm. they really shy to say that Marina works in sales. I, I was proud to work in sales. Mm -hmm. I, for me, it's about sovereign, uh, sovereign, to be sovereign for people mm -hmm. to, uh, to sell them something. That's why it was, it was the beginning of my journey. Yeah. That's why I love sales. I, I love sales, but at the same time, I realize how many changes uh, they have to apply in their mindset because okay. classic sales, which I showed you in the video, uh, it doesn't work, mm. but not all organizations understand that, unfortunately. Yeah.
they are usually afraid if they book, put out the numbers for individuals they are afraid yeah very much. yeah it's, it's because it's money yeah yeah i know i know well that's super hard but you know what i like from your presentation was this uh, having one goal so uh, yeah. can you give us uh, some example like how that one goal for a sales yeah. can look like yeah uh let's uh, like imagine that for example we are sales department Zuzi has her uh, own plan. I have my own plan, and uh, uh, I know Ag Akbar has uh, his own plan. And from Monday, uh, Agile came to our life. And for example, Zuzi has ten thousand dollars plan. I had five thousand dollars plan, and uh, Akbar had twenty thousand dollars. And we will create a common goal when we plus all our sales targets in one common goal. And we will say that guys, Zuzi, uh, Marina and Akbar, if you achieve your goal, you will receive some prize in the end, mm -hmm. or you will receive percent from the profit and you will share in your team. Mm -hmm. And we will realize that, okay, uh, or we should uh, support Akbar to help him achieve his goal and because we have common like mm -hmm. 20 10 and 5 35 it will be our common goal mm -hmm. and common motivation so it's still very number oriented right in the beginning all in the, yeah for sure it's always in our uh how to say in our kanban board you will see numbers yeah, because I'm not sure. it, but that's yeah. what I asked because that's uh, always a kind yeah. of question. Shall we have it, numbers or not? Yeah. Numbers and but different numbers. How many mm -hmm. hypotheses did we check? Ah. 20, 50. Yes, it's numbers. Mm -hmm. How many, uh, how um, uh, our customers are happy from one to 10? Mm -hmm. This is numbers. How many interview did we have during next sprint? We're going to next uh, to have interviews mm -hmm. and understand needs. It's numbers. Those and are more interesting, yeah. tweaked, tweaked numbers from just a sales, right? So therefore, yeah. I'm sort of asking about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, we always have our sales plan as well. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that's important. You always have to have it. So yeah, it's not. It's our mindset. It's our language. And uh, the last thing, uh, but I hope not least, uh, I noticed that salespeople and, for example, IT people, they speak. In, uh, in they speak in different languages mm -hmm. and retrospective help them to be on the one page because salespeople they sell something which impo impossible to deliver for customers and after that IT department like th thinking what 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 is going on and they just have different languages and agile helps them to have collaboration and uh, create like to have uh, for sure interpret in, interpreter who translate uh, this language coach inside of the uh, company that's mm -hmm. why it, and it's a common retrospective as well mm -hmm. i believe in the retrospectives uh, between departments uh, between executives um for 100 percent this is my main tool retrospectives mm -hmm. retrospective that's cool um can you share something from your history i shared a lot already but the uh, last one from your history i'm going to ask here is about how did you get in um, contact with agile and what did you think at that time yeah uh, first of all i had my personal transformation it took two years and it was very painful uh, because of this pain i think uh, now i'm successful i will uh, tell you this story shortly <laughs> Imagine I was like in this video, I was head of sales department in huge bank. I had a great salary. I had a great power. I was very ambitious person and I was a winner in my game. I was a big boss uh, in my mindset. And one day I was invited as a sales, uh, I was thinking that it's sales director in one flat agile IT organization. And I decided to take this risk and imagine my first uh, working day when I came to the work and I didn't at 9 a.m. I didn't find people in the room and I called to my uh, business owner and says and said what is going on and he told me Marina you don't need manage them they are self-organizing team uh, it was software uh, uh, self-organizing scrum teams mm -hmm. and I was thinking what what does it mean uh, to be self-organizing and at 10 yeah, they came and they put sticky sticky notes in the uh, wall and I was thinking, oh my gosh, they're crazy. They're really crazy. And they were so, how to say, different from bank. 
And I decided to show them that I am main boss here. I'm salesperson. I'm, I'm going to sell uh, uh, the, those teams. And they wasn't very happy <laughs> my behavior. And uh, one day I remember they invited me to have a retrospective and I, I didn't know what does mean retrospective. And they gave me, gave me feedback that I should be a leader instead of manager. And I, I will tell you the truth. I didn't know what does it mean to be leader. I, I was shy to tell them that I don't know what, exactly what uh, it doesn't mean to be leader. And I came to my house at night and I tried to, to find in Google what is the main difference to be leader or manager because I was excellent manager as I thought. Mm -hmm. The end of this story that it took uh, about two years to change my mindset and I attend Scrum uh, workshops like six times to try to understand IT language, what is it? Mm -hmm. When I understood, I created uh, our first uh, sales uh, team. We applied Scrum. We triple, no triple. Uh, we for next, uh, how many around four weeks we increase our sales. I realized that it works, and I decided to share it with all the world. This is my story, wow. but it was very. Believe me, it was painful very much. That's why. I support um, my executives and I mm -hmm. realize their pains when Agile comes to their company. Mm -hmm. I support them because I was the sa in the same position uh, six years ago. Wow, that's a good story. Thank you for sharing. And thank you for all the great job you're doing with all the sales departments and organizations. So we'll share with you at least the last page or the slides, whatever Marina feels comfortable about. You'll see the video. And we start again in 10 minutes from now. Thank, thank you, you very much. Yeah, thank you. I wish you to in, in, involve yourselves in Agile Transformation. You will see how we'll be happy. they will be happy, I promise you. Thank you very much. Bye, everyone.